Hi, in this video we're going to show you a free tool you could use to configure animated video wallpapers on your computer. So it's called My Live Wallpapers. So all you need to do is download it for free and install it and run the program. But I will say if you have a slower computer it can be a little slow. So keep that in mind. So if you try it out and things are just crawling along then it's probably your computer and it might not be the one for you and you could try something different. So this computer here is just a test computer, so it's not very powerful, uh, but we'll see how it runs here. And then I'll also say when you go to their website, because you can download you know, live wallpapers from here as well, the website is super slow, at least in my experience. So when you click on something to download, expect it to take a while and expect a bunch of pop-up ads like this as well. All right, so here is how the program works. So you have two options here for the live wallpaper. And if you have multiple monitors, you could configure different wallpapers per monitor. So you could do it just on one file, or if you do the locate folder, you could load a folder and then have the wallpaper change using the videos in that folder at certain time intervals there. And they have this deep parallax option here. So these are kind of like wallpapers that are interactive. You know, when you use your mouse or click on stuff, they kind of do things. Um, it's not really something you could download. You kind of need to make them on your own. They do have a section on their website where you could download these uh, parallax wallpapers. But as you see here, it says JPEG or MLW-depth files. And when you download these files, they tend to just be these MLW files, which do not work here. So I'm not sure exactly how this works. But I think you have to find some way to make them on your own because it's not something that you could commonly download. All right, then here we have options for the volume. So if your video has audio, it'll play that as well. Then you can mute it and pause it. All right, so let's go back here. Let's uh, load one up here. So I have this dog video. Let's load this here. So you can see it works well for that. And then you can slow it down too if you want. Then they have some position options. It doesn't seem to do much for this one. If I change this, it seems to not really change anything. So you might need something specific for that. And then if you want to add some music, you could do that as well. So I have this song here. if you want. You can remove it. You can remove this as well. So we're back to the normal desktop. All right, so let's try another just MP4 video. So I have this one here. It's uh, five minutes long. It's a bigger file. So let's see if we could load that up. So you can see, even though it's a five-minute video, it still seems to uh, load it just fine here. So it's kind of a nice little background there. All right, so now I have some of these MLW files that I downloaded from their website. So let's try one of those out here. So just a basic animation here. So that one's kind of cool. Then you have some scaling options as well if you need to adjust anything. Let's see how this works for their own files here. Still doesn't seem to make a difference, so I'm not too sure what that does. You can probably find out on their website. And some of these may or may not have any audio along with it, so you'll have to find out when you download them. All right, so you can see it's uh, pretty easy to use, but like I said, you'll have to try it out and see how slow or fast it is on your computer to decide if you want to use it. 
All right, so like I said, just go to their website, download the My Live Wallpaper app, install it, run it, and then either use a single wallpaper, or you could actually cycle through several different wallpapers and have them change at a set interval. And I also noticed that I did this one MP4 file that I had, and it just had a black screen, so obviously not every single video file is going to be supported. So you'll find out as you try them out. If you get a black screen, then you know it's not a good file to use with it. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.